Happy Friday, 641 currently on your Friday morning. Here's a look out the window at the Ross Clark Circle in 231 South. Seeing mostly cloudy skies, overcast skies this morning, a little bit of fog and mist in some areas. Good news is we don't have heat advisories in effect for today. Finally getting a little bit of break in the heat. Still going to be hot though, but we're starting off a little bit cooler. Temperatures right now in Dothan are 71, so in the lower 70s. Some of us still in the upper 60s. Troy, Ozark, Enterprise, Florala, all at 69, 68 for Blakely, Georgia, 73 for Mariana, Florida, 71 into Funiac Springs. As we go throughout our morning, though, again, we will warm up. Like I said, it's still going to be hot. Heat in the seas just slightly cooler than they were yesterday, or slightly lower than they were yesterday and for the past couple of days. By 9 a.m., we'll be in the lower 80s, 11 a.m., mid to upper 80s. Partly cloudy skies will start to see that sunshine later into the morning and into the early afternoon hours. By 1 p.m., lower 90s, and looks like our highs today again going to reach into the mid 90s for most everyone across the wiregrass and in the Florida Panhandle. Those clouds will start to build as we go later into the afternoon. Ahead of some possible isolated showers for our Friday. Here's a look at that radar right now, though. Dry in our Alabama counties, southwest Georgia counties, and in our Florida Panhandle counties. Zooming on out, though, there's a line of showers more over Mississippi and, the, and western Alabama, and those will continue to drift to southward, not really affecting our neck of the woods too much. Our atmosphere kind of worked over from those showers on Thursday. Here's a look, though, at the bigger picture. Again, those scattered showers more staying to the west of us and some heavier rain over the Big Bend of Florida area. Can't expect just a few isolated showers. Showers for our Friday. Looks like though, right now we're going to stay mostly dry for a Friday if you have any outdoor plans. But then rain chances return for our Saturday. Doesn't mean it's going to be an all day washout for your Saturday though. But like I've been saying, I know a lot of people have outdoor plans. Just keep an eye to the sky for our Saturday. We're going to take a closer look at that. Like I said, staying mostly dry for our Friday, it looks like, with that sun peeking through in the afternoon. And as we fast forward to our Saturday morning, looks like we're going to start dry Saturday morning, partly cloudy skies. Then those showers more into the afternoon hours. This is around 1 15 p.m., seeing some showers more in the heart of the Wiregrass, Ozark, Dothan, Troy, seeing some showers. And then as we go towards 345, 4 p.m., Again, some isolated scattered showers. Looks like the heaviest rain more to the south of us over Panama City and the Florida beaches there. And then as we go towards 630, looks like some mostly dry parts in the middle of the wiregrass with the heaviest rain being more to our west and more towards our east. And then later into the evening, you can't expect maybe possibly a quick pop-up shower, a heavy downpour or two, but it looks like for some of us going to stay dry. Like I said, it depends on where you are going to be hit or miss for your Saturday. But hopefully, though, where you are, those showers will move on out for any of those fireworks plans that you have on on Saturday evening. Looks like for Freedom Fest though tonight, things are looking good. And if you're headed to the lake for today as well, Lake Ufala looks to stay mainly dry. Going to be in the 90s, partly cloudy skies in the earlier part of the day, and then mostly cloudy into the evening. Panama City though, unfortunately, a little bit higher rain chances as we go towards the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. There's still about a 50 to 60 percent chance. Looks like Sunday is going to be our wetter day for Panama City. A little bit cooler there. The shower is going to cool us off around 83 the high for Panama City Beach. And then if you're going to the fireworks at the fairgrounds here, in Dothan. Gates open the course at 5 p.m. Fireworks there at 9 p.m. going to be around 80 degrees there around 9 p.m. and about a 30 percent chance of rain. So it looks like rain chances lower for Saturday night here in Dothan. Here's a look though at the next seven days. Like I said, those rain chances going to stick with us for the weekend. Going to be hit or miss depending on where you are. And highs are going to stay in the 90s for our weekend. Lows at night staying in the mid 70s for our weekend. And then as we go into next week, slightly cooler temperatures. We're going to be in the upper 80s and then back